Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how to remove a specific element from an array using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom which is script.js. We need one div element. We need one button here but before the button we need one input element. Button will be remove. We need one UL element, we'll leave this empty, go to style sheet, here select the body element, text align will be center, select div element, display will be inline block, select button element and the input element, display will be inline block, padding will be 10 pixel and 20 pixel later we'll have a couple of list items so let's style them here font size will be 20 pixels font weight will be bold margin left will be around minus 40 pixels list style will be none save it open the javascript file which is script.js let's have an array of users here so it will be James Marks Peter Mary and Robert We'll have function here it will be add users we'll call this function to generate the list items let's call it here we will make use of map function to create the array of list items so let's make a template We'll make use of join method here to form a string and we'll join it by the new line character which should be backward slash not forward slash now let's select the ul element here we'll set the inner text equal to template that's it now just save it open this file in the browser Okay, something is wrong. Oh, my fault. It should be inner HTML, not inner text. Save it. Great. Now let's try to understand how to actually work. I will type some name here, for example, marks. And when I will click on this remove button, I want to remove marks from the array. So let's go to JavaScript file. Select the button and the input element. So let's make it DT and remove. This will be input. Add a bit list to the button that is click. This is the handler function. There are a lot of ways to remove an item from the array, but I will show you a very simple approach. First of all, we need to get the index of that specific item. For that I will make use of index of method so it will be like this users dot index of and we'll pass the value of input here like this this will give us the index then we'll check if that item is actually present in the array or not so if it is not present this index will be minus one so we'll verify this like this so if it is not equal to minus one I want to execute some piece of code here so to remove the item, we'll make use of delete operator here. So it will be users and the index like this. Okay. Then we'll call this function add users to generate the list again. Save it. Go to browser. Now let me type James here. 
click you can see james is gone let me type robert you can see robert is gone let me type peter and peter is gone i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day